would you say was your hardest struggle that you had to deal with? And what lesson or lessons did you take away from that? Uh, well, this is going to end in a plug here. So, so, so the, I mean, the biggest challenge I've ever had to go through is hiring people is building the team and the structure around me, finding the right people, dealing with the wrong people, uh, dealing with, you know, terrible horror stories about hiring the wrong people. You know, the, the, the statistic is the average cost of hiring a wrong employee is about $15,000. And so it's significant. I can tell you I've hired worse people than $15,000 mistakes, way worse. And so, you know, the lesson there is, is if you're going to, what the old saying is, you know, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. So the intent is knowing that I've got a long life to live. I want to go far. And so you have to learn how to go together. And so that is really a lesson I took away. And that required putting some deep thought into our business. What, what, what do we stand for? What are our core values? What's our culture? And being able to build that from the foundation up which then eventually led us to the ability to, to attract the right people, put these operating procedures in place to attract more of the right people and leverage that. Well, you just mentioned the word culture mm. uh, in your business. Uh, it's a two part question. What do you mean by your culture? And after you define what culture means, what does your culture look like and how is it different from other businesses? Yeah, culture in my mind is how we live our core values. So what what do we stand for? What do we believe internally, intrinsically? What and that, and that becomes the methodology in which we hire, fire, which we which we operate from. So that's uh, how it actually rolls out into practice and how we live that culture. And so how we live it for us is you know from procedurally we have a, a huddle call every morning at nine thirty. Every the whole team's on it. We have KPIs. Everybody's got a number or everybody has numbers which they're reporting on. So for us, you know, part of our culture is that this is a, a business. Well, clearly it's a business, but we're in a results oriented business. That's the only business we're in. The results matter. There is no place to hide. And uh, so the, how does that play out? Everybody's got numbers. Everybody's reporting. Everybody knows how we're going, how the month's going. There is not a question in any given month of how we're doing. Everybody knows what the numbers are. Well, as you know, I help real estate investors raise a lot of private money for their real estate deals. And if you need private money, then you need to get to the upcoming Private Money Academy Conference. You can check it out and click on the link in the description. I'll be there live in person all three days and you'll get plugged into all the funding that you need for your real estate deals. Check out the link in the description and I'll see you at the Private Money Academy Conference.